everybody, aka Hello Interloper here. As you all are familiar, uh, Hall of Heroes started yesterday, and uh, unfortunately, I've been having some trouble because uh, I wasn't able to do B3, which I thought I would be able to do after a lot of work on my runes and stuff. But uh, I could do B2 just fine. So um, I'm going to quickly show you how fast I can do B2 and B3. Um, hopefully I can actually do B3. So this is my B3 team. Uh, not exactly the best team makeup, as you can probably imagine. Um, unfortunately, I did need two AoE heals to actually get through it, and it's a very slow team because it's mostly support-based. And, uh, it's unfortunate. Also, my Verde is not violent, and neither is my Bella. And neither is Colleen. They're all swift, because I just wasn't able to farm dragons for the longest time. So, let's actually go and see how this works. Um, so, as you already have assumed, I did choose Arya, because she is a TOA hard mode boss. And by boss, I mean she's really good at her job, which is, you know, uh, adding glancing hits, slowing down the team. Basically, she can replace Spectra, because she pretty much fulfills the same role Spectra does, slowing down the entire group of enemies, but also adding glancing hits, which is pretty darn awesome. Um, so even when you do get hit, it's not going to be for much. So, uh, unfortunately, I uh, have a bit of a lag here on uh, Reflector, uh, which is the program I use. It's actually called Reflector 2. But um, what it does is it basically mirrors your phone to your computer screen. And there I can record it with um, open broadcaster software, which is an open source uh, broadcasting thing. Uh, you know, I could broadcast this to Twitch if I wanted to, but I'm just recording it for YouTube. Honestly, I just don't have the time to waste on Twitch. I used to do some Twitch stuff, but, you know, I don't have a webcam anymore, so it's not as fun. Um, I'm hoping to get a webcam soon, but, you know, everything costs money, unfortunately, and what I'm really looking for is a webcam that can also be removed and used as a video camera, so I can come plug it back into my computer, use it as a webcam, but also film some stuff uh, for my channel. I would love to actually start filming myself doing some of my artwork and resin work and speeding it up, you know, if I'm going to be sculpting something, I don't want to have 10 hours of footage of me sculpting. I'd like to condense that into maybe 3-4 minutes or something. <laughs> Slow it down in the important parts. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, Colleen's down, and that's what Brienne is for. Brienne's going to bring back Colleen, and hopefully either Colleen or uh, Bella then heals the entire group. At least that's the hope. Unfortunately, it looks like both of their cooldowns are expired and now Verde's going to die. Um, unfortunately, I do have some 4-star runes on these guys, which absolutely sucks because it's just so hard to get that one specific rune that has that one specific stat that you need. And actually, you know what? This looks like it's actually going to be a failure. Because two are down. Brienne's going to be put asleep. Unless Brienne quickly gets uh, someone up, this is going to be pretty bad. Usually when I have two down, I'm not going to recover from it. Oh, this is unfortunate. Now, as for my Brienne, um, I'd like to know that my Brienne has an absolute crazy amount of speed. Uh, I recently <laughs> kind of uh, went over him, changed some things, uh, and I did have some, I believe they're called grindstones, the ones that you can add uh, stats with, and uh, I had a speed grindstone, I added it, and one of his runes now has like plus 20 speed, it's really ridiculous. Oh, god damn it. You know, I'm actually going to pause this and make sure I bring back Colleen instead of Verde. 
And, uh, let's just get this going here. Oh, please, can Vera not die? There we go, that's what I needed. Okay, hopefully I can get a recovery now that I have two healers up. There we go, okay, we're, we're doing better now. Doing much better. Yeah, unfortunately, B3 is really difficult, and, um, unless you have really good monsters, you're not going to do too great. Uh, a lot of people I've spoken to, I've, I've been asking around, seeing what other people are using for their B3 teams, and a lot of people are using, um, Nat5 nukes, and unfortunately, I have, you know, Sigmaris, but... He's not exactly ruined where I want him to be, especially because, you know, I can't really do Necro yet. And, uh, I, I can do Necro 7, that's as far as I can go, and really that's pretty much just getting, like, 4-star runes every time. Absolutely useless in terms of farming runes, so... I have been 6-starring, uh... You know, I got Colleen, I've got Adrian now, I have Malaka, and I actually did pull Zabralta, which is the uh, fire bomber, recently. So I'm going to be working on him, too. And uh, I'm thinking of maybe six-starring Lynette, just because she does have that uh, third skill that heals. Oh, this is taking a long time. Sorry about all the blabbing, but I'm basically just uh, chattering about what I have planned for my account. And hopefully I can show you some things later. Um, for the time being, I got a lot of things that I do need to rune. Uh, my Chiwu needs to be ruined. My Tiana needs to be ruined. Those are my two, uh, Nat 5s. Don't have more than two at the moment. Unless you count Vero and Theo, but... You know, uh, I would love to get Verde, Bella, Colleen all on Violent, but for now, they're stuck on Swift. That's the best I can do. Um, it's kind of funny, though, because... Just it's so hard finding a swift rune that actually has speed as a stat. So uh, I'm pretty sure my Briand is faster than my Bella, even though Bella's got swift and Briand has despair. It's just it's pure luck. It really is pure luck when you're upgrading those runes. And uh, I mean, just today I was trying to upgrade some swift runes that had HP on it to put on uh, Colleen. Because uh, she doesn't have HP subs on her um, one three fives, So I was like, okay, uh, I got some that have HP. And I, of course, start upgrading. And the ones that get upgraded are the subs that are not HP. Every darn time. So, yep, throw away runes. Goodbye. Oof, this is not so good. Yeah, this is a little troublesome. Hilariously, um, the B2, the boss fight is so easy because it is, uh, rather than three succubi, you only have two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the plural of succubus is succubi, but, you know, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert on demonology or anything. Um, oh, this is, this is really bad. I lost Vero. Oh, gosh. This is... Yeah. Oh, no! No, no! I wasn't able to pause it in time. Oh, this is game over for me. Oh. So you see how difficult B3 is. Honestly, I probably should manual the boss. But, uh, I have gotten through a few times. It's kind of all luck of the draw. That was sad. Really sad. Oh, well, let's just quickly do B2, huh? B2 shouldn't be hard at all. So, uh, I, I kind of am thinking I'm just going to try to farm B2. Because I want to auto it. I don't want to have to pay attention and, like, you know, pause it to make sure Briand uh, raises the right guy, but... You know, it's kind of annoying because you, you hope that Briand has, you know, better AI than that. I, I really don't need Verde to be resurrected. I, I, I need a healer. And it's kind of annoying that uh, Briand doesn't pre bleh, sorry, prioritize a healer over, you know, a support. 
but you know it is what it is it would be really cool if there was some functionality where you could choose which uh, monster takes you know uh, precedence over the others in terms of reviving but I think uh, I honestly think that it goes for the leader first because of uh, the what is it called the leader buff and you know that's fine and all I, I, I like the speed lead that Verde gives but come on I need the heals so this is going pretty fast um, you know C Colleen's uh, buff there with the uh, attack power it, it does help but you know it, it would be nice if I had maybe a uh, Megan sixth I, I could put that instead I did try uh, using Bernard and it, it was okay although near the end it just fizzled out in B3 it just didn't work out it would be nice having Verde on violent just so I could get all that extra attack bar but such is life I'll have to farm a lot of dragons and you know this is the time that I have right now to farm Arya I'm not gonna have much time later since uh, it's never really gonna come back <laughs> I don't think that they're going to repeat this uh, Hall of Heroes again this is the second time you know second anniversary repeat don't think there's going to be a third. Sorry about that. I accidentally brushed my mic with my sleeve pushing hair out of my face because it's being annoying. So, uh, yeah, this is going kind of slow. Um, I think my fastest run for B2 was with a different team comp. I've been just switching it around like crazy, attempting to find something that will work with B3. But it's just, it's so hard when you don't have really good support I mean I, I would love to have some kind of extra healer like a beast monk oh my goodness like um, what's his name Kume I think his name is or is that the that might be the dark yeti I'm getting mixed up with Kumar Kume something whatever the fire beast monk was I used somebody's and I was able to do B3 super easy with that meditation and of course uh, the AoE attack was great for getting through um, the hardest levels yeah see this is just easy you have two succubi and I mean Arya is barely doing any damage especially with her AoE it's just so easy and uh, I say it you know I, I guess it's not easy to everybody I have all my monsters here six starred if you uh, don't have six stars, you might find B2 kind of difficult. But, you know, I've been level 40 for a while. I've been working on level 6s for quite a while. Um, so it's a little disappointing that I still can't do B3 properly. I have done it a few times, and I'm very disappointed that I wasn't able to make it for this video. But, um, you know, I guess I'm going to keep experimenting. There we go. New best is uh, 4 minutes and 6 seconds. So that's not bad. Uh, I believe my B3 time, my best B3 time was something around uh, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So technically B3 would be more efficient if I was able to succeed every time, which I unfortunately am not able to. So I guess uh, B2 is going to be my uh, way to farm. How many pieces do I get? One. Oh, that's sad. Sometimes you do get three from B2, which is kind of nice, but... Oh well, it is what it is. So there you go. You uh, guys saw my failure and uh, my sadness at failing at the boss on B3 and then a successful B2 run. So um, yeah, we have one more event coming up and it will be revealed tomorrow, the 24th. Um, people have been saying it's the Roll the Dice event, which I've never actually participated in from what I remember. But uh, sounds pretty exciting, and I'll make a video as soon as that comes out. So uh, keep an eye on my page, and I'll have that video for you ASAP. Until next time.